Can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Let's start with a quarter circle. Now let's draw some chord that measures 8 units and another chord measures 4 units. Now the question is what is the length of the radius of this quarter circle? Pause this video and see if you can answer this question. And of course, if you're done, post your answer in the comment section down below because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. So given this figure, the goal is to find the length of the radius. And instead of showing you one solution to this question, I will show you three different methods to answer this question. The first one is by using our favorite, the Pythagorean theorem, even though we don't have a right triangle, but we will use the Pythagorean theorem. The second is the law of cosine. And the third one is the generalized formula for the length of the radius of this quarter circle. So let's begin. Let's have the Pythagorean theorem. All right, first, we have this angle right over here. And using the inscribed angle theorem, it intercepted 270 degrees of arc. So the measure of this inscribed angle is 270 divided by 2 or 135 degrees. Now, what we're going to do is to extend this green side or green segment. That is exactly, we have 90 degrees in this position. Because these two angles, this angle red and 135 are supplementary or a linear pair. 135 or 181 minus 135, this will give us 45 degrees. So these two angles must be 45 degrees. So we have here on the top an isosceles right triangle, wherein these two sides are equal. Now, we know the hypotenuse is 4. So using the property of 45, 45, 90 right triangle, the length of the side of this triangle must be equal to 2 times square root of 2. Now, we have now a 90 degrees, so let's have the hypotenuse, and there you have it, we have a right triangle. Now, this triangle right over here is an isosceles right triangle also, because all radii of a circle are the same. If this is the radius, the length of this segment, or the hypotenuse, must be equal to r times square root of 2. Now, using the Pythagorean theorem, we have here the hypotenuse and the legs. So we have here r times square root of 2 raised to the power of 2 equals 2 times square root of 2 raised to the power of 2 plus 8 plus 2 times square root of 2 raised to the power of 2. Now we can now solve for the value of r. So let's simplify. So we have 2r squared equals we have 8 2 times square root of 2 times itself is 8. And then expand this. We have 8 squared is 64. 2 times 8 times 2 times square root of 2 is 32 times square root of 2. And then 2 times square root of 2 squared is 8. Now combine like terms. We have your 80 plus 32 times square root of 2. They are all even. So divide by 2 on both sides. We have r squared equals 40 plus 16 times square root of 2. Now to find the value of r, let's get the square root on both sides. And we don't care to the negative value of r because r here is a positive number. So we care to the positive value of r, which is square root of 40 plus 16 times square root of 2. Now let's focus on this result. And we can factor out 4 on this 40 and 16. And the square root of 4 is 2. So r equals 2 times the square root of 10 plus 4 times square root of 2. And there you have it. This is the length, the radius of this quarter circle. So using the Pythagorean theorem, we found out that the length of the radius is 2 times square root of 10 plus 4 times square root of 2. Now how about the second method? Using the law of cosine. Alright, so we know this angle is 135 degrees for sure. And if we draw this hypotenuse, we know this measures r times square root of 2. Now using the law of cosine, and the law of cosine states that the square of a side of a plane triangle equals the sum of the squares of the remaining sides minus twice the product of those sides and the cosine of the angle between them. So 
using the cosine law, we have in this triangle, we have r times square root of 2 raised to the power of 2 equals 4 squared plus 8 squared, these two remaining sides, minus 2 times 4 times 8 times the cosine of 135 degrees. All right, now let's simplify this equation. So on the left-hand side, we have 2r squared. We have 4 squared is 16. 8 squared is 64. 2 times 4 times 8 is 64 times cosine of 135. Now, cosine of 135 is a multiple of 45, but in the second quadrant. So cosine 135 is negative square root of 2 over 2. Now simplify. 16 plus 64 is 80. And negative 64 times negative square root of 2 over 2 is 32 times square root of 2. Again, divide all of this term by 2. And there you have it. Again, r squared equals 40 plus 16 times square root of 2. We are familiar with this value. Get the square root on both sides. Factor out 4. And there you have it. Again, r equals 2 times square root of 10 plus 4 times square root. So using our second method, the law of cosine, we get the same result. R equals 2 times square root of 10 plus 4 times square root of 2. Now how about the third solution? Using the generalized formula to find the value of R or the length of the radius of this quarter circle. So here it is. So to find the value of the radius of this quarter circle, given this length A and B, whatever this length. So the length of the radius must be equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared plus ab times square root of 2 divided by 2. Now the question is how do you get this result? Simply by using the Pythagorean theorem or the law of cosine. So either of the two, we will give you this result. Now let's check if this formula works. Let's see. We know a is 4 and b is 8. So 4 squared plus 8 squared plus 4 times 8 times square root of 2 divided by 2. Simplify. 4 squared is 16. 8 squared is 64. Now we have here 32. 16 plus 64 is 80. Divide by 2. 80 divided by 2 and 32 divided by 2 is 40 plus 16 times square root of 2. Factor out 4 again and you have it. 2 times square root of 10 plus 4 times square root of 2, which is the value of r. Therefore, using three different methods, Pythagorean theorem, law of cosine, and generalized formula to find the value of r, we get that the radius of this quarter circle is equal to 2 times square root of 10 plus 4 times square root of 2. And as always, we are done.